everyone, let us look at the last segment of our BLGPS P6 Revision Booklet, Topic on Revision. Worksheet 1. Three apples and one pear cost $2.20. Three pears and one apple cost $2.60. Find the cost of one apple and one pear. So here, I know that I have three apples plus one pear, which costs two dollar twenty cents three pears and one apple so three pears plus one apple cost two dollar sixty cents I need to find the cost of one pear and one apple so from here I have two different units so I make in order for me to solve this I make one of the units the same so I can take this equation I times three to find three pairs so this is one pair times three, I will get three pairs. So here I will have nine apples plus one times three will be three pairs. Two twenty times three, I get six dollars and sixty cents. So now I have three pairs here, I have three pairs. So I can minus off. So to minus off, I take nine apple minus one apple equals to my six dollars sixty cent minus two dollars sixty cents so my eight apple is four dollars one apple will be two dollars so now I know that one apple is two dollar so I can use this to substitute three pairs plus one apple is two dollars sixty cent three pairs will be two dollars sixty cents minus one apple which is two dollar Therefore, my one pair will be 60 divided by 3 will be 20 cents. So find the cost of one apple and one pair. So one apple is $2 and one pair is 20 cents. So it's $2 plus 20 cent and the answer is two dollars and twenty cent question two Johan bought four files and three books for ninety one dollars his sister bought two files okay there is some mistake here because it cannot be seen so there is a can you please uh, change the error his sister bought two files and one book for forty one dollars you are asked to find the cost of the book so here I write down four files and three books cost ninety one so four files plus three book is ninety one dollars. Two files plus one book cost forty one dollars. So now I make one of the unit the same. So to make the unit, I will I feel that I to make the files the same will be better because two times two will give me my four. So this equation I times two, and I will get. 4 files plus 2 book would be 42 times 41 times 2 is $82. So now I take 4 files minus 4 files will be 0. 3 books minus 2 books will be my 91 minus 82. So 1 book will be 91 minus 82 is $9. So Find the cost of one book, so one book costs $9. Worksheet 2. Mr. Johari bought six apples and eight pears for $6.50. He bought two apples and three pears for $2.30. How many pears could he buy with $13? So here, I can work out an equation. Six apples plus eight pears costs $6.50. He bought two apples, so I write down two apples plus three pears. $2.30. So now, which one is easier to make the same? 2 times 3 will give me 6, right? So I use this equation times 3. 2 apple times 3 will be 6 apple plus 3 times 3 will give me 9 pairs. $2.30 times 3 will get $6.90. So now, 
My 6 apples minus 6 apples will make 0. 8 pair minus 9 pair. Can? Cannot. So I must take my 9 pair minus 8 pair. Would be 690 minus 6 dollar 90 cents minus 6 dollar 50 cents therefore my one pair will be 40 cents how many pairs could he buy with 13 dollars so 13 dollars one pair is 40 cents so I take 13 dollars divide by 40 cents so 1 3 0 0 divide by 40 3 times 4 is 12 2 times 4 is 8. There is a remainder of 2, right? So now I have 32 remainder 0.5. If not, I will just put. Okay, so it's 32.5. I can buy 32.5 pairs. Can I buy 0 0.5 pairs? I can't. So how many pairs, whole pair can she buy? She, Tammy bought 4 bangles and 5 watches for 192. So my 4 bangles for 5 watches, 192. If she bought 2 bangles and 3 watches, 2 bangles and 3 watches, she would have paid $84 lesser. So I know my two bangles plus three watches, I would pay 84 less than this amount. So I take 192 minus 84, I will get 108, right? So it's $108. First now, let's look at this. We need to make sure that one of the units is the same, so we the bangles is easier to make the same, so I times 2. So, it's, so I will get 4 bangles plus 6 watches is 108 times 2, 216. So now I take my 6 watch minus my 5 watch will be and my 4 bangles minus my 4 bangles will be 0. So I have 216 minus 192 and I will get 216 minus 912. One watch will be 24. So now I substitute my one watch into this equation. So two bangles plus three watches is 108. One watch is 24, three watches will be 72. So it's two bangle plus 72 is 108. Two bangles will be 108 minus 72. Should give me $36. So find the price of one bangle. 36 divided by 2. And the answer is 18. So the cost of the one banger is 18. Worksheet 3. There are 60 children, one quarter of the boys wear spectacles, two fifth of the girls wear spectacles. So now I know my whole is 60. From this 60, I know I have boys and girls. One quarter of the boys wear spectacles. So boys, one quarter means one unit, wear spectacles. I know my boys has four unit, so does not wear or do not wear will be three unit. Two fifth of the girls wear spectacles, so my girl is five unit. Wear two unit. Do not wear three unit. Two plus three is five. Altogether, there are 18 children who wear spectacles. So I look at the wear spectacle. I have one unit wear spectacle here of girls, of boys, and two unit of girls. So now 
I have equation. I have four boys plus five unit of girls is my 60 pupils. One unit of boy plus two unit of girls wear spectacles. So how many? There are 18 of them. Here. So now we make the unit the same. We make the boys the same, right? Because 1 times 4 will give me 4. So this 1 times 4, I will get 4 boys plus 8 girls. 18 times 4. Eighteen times four, seventy-two. Okay. So now, what I can do is, I can substitute, can subtract four unit, four boys minus four boys is zero. Eight girls minus five girls. Is equals to seventy-two minus sixty. So three girls will be twelve. One girl is four. How many girls wear spectacles? There are two units of girls who wear spectacles, so two girls will be 4 times 2. The answer is 8. Question 2. There are 84 pupils in primary 6, 5 8 of the boys and 3 quarter of the girls wear glasses. So we do the same. My whole is 84 pupils. Out of these 84, I have boys and Girls. 5, 8. So boys is 8 unit. Girls is 4 unit. 5, 8 of the boys wear glasses. So wear glasses. 5 unit. So do not wear glasses. Will be 8 unit minus 5 unit, 3 unit. Three quarter of the girls wear glasses, so wear three unit. Do not wear four unit minus three unit will be one unit. There are fifty eight pupils who wear glasses, so I know my boys will be five boys plus three unit of girls is fifty eight. Now let's look at the boys again. Total, I have 8 boys. 8 units of boys plus 4 units of girls. 84. So now, I must make my equation the same. The smaller number will be 4 and 3, right? So 4 times 3 will give me 12. 5 times 4 will give me 12. We make the girls the same. So 8 times 3 will 24 boys. 4 times 3 is 12 girls. 8 times 3. 84 times 3 is 252. Now let's look at this equation. Times 4. 5 boys times 4 will be 20 boys. 3 units of girls times 4 will be 12 girls. 58 times 4 will be 232. So now we have to take away the girls because they are the same unit so now I take the bigger unit minus the smaller unit 24 boys minus 20 boys is 252 minus 232 so 4 boys is 20 1 boy 5 My ans let's answer the question how many boys and how many girls wear glasses so now Let's look for wear glasses. 5 unit of boys. So 5 boys. 5 times 5, 25. So there are 25 boys wear glasses. Let's look at how many girls wear glasses. Girls, now I have to substitute, right? So let's look at these 5 boys I can use back here. So 5 boys plus 3 girls is 58. 5 boys is 25. So my three girls will be 58 minus 25, which is 33. How many girls wear glasses? Three units of girls wear glasses. So 
there are 25 boys and 33 girls wear glasses. Worksheet 4. There are 610 watches and pen in a box. So my no. Altogether, I have 610 watches and pens. One fifth of the watches. So watch is 5 unit. The whole is 5 unit. One fifth were from, made in Japan. So it's Japan. One unit. One third of the pen. So pen is three unit. Made in Japan. One unit. And the rest were made in Malaysia. So Malaysia. Five minus one will be four unit. 3 minus 1 will be 2 unit, Malaysia. Okay, nice. Let's look at the next sentence. It says 150 pens and watches were made in Japan. So this is Japan. This is Japan. Together is 150. So now let's look at the watches. 5U. Five watches, sorry, plus three pen. Three unit of pen is six hundred and ten. One unit of watch plus one unit of pen is hundred and fifty. I want to find how many pens were made in Malaysia. So I want to find the pen. I need to remove the watch. So this one times five. Sorry, times three. Sorry, times 5. 1 times 5 is 5. Plus 5 pen is 150 times 5. 750. And I take 5 unit minus 5 watches will be 0. 5 pen minus 3 pen is 750 minus 610. 5 minus 3 will be 2 pen, will be 140, therefore 1 pen will be $70. Oh sorry, 1 pen is 70, there's no dollar sign. Now, how many pens were made in Malaysia? Malaysia is 2 unit, actually I can just use this as my answer because 2 unit of pen is 140. Question 2. There were 121 adults who are attending the management course in a private school. 5 9 of the males and 4 5 of the females. So I know adults together is 121 consists of male and female. So male is 9, female is 5. Out of the male, 8, 9 of the male were local. So my local, 8 unit. My female local, 4 unit. So now, the rest were foreigners. So the next one is foreigners. How many foreigners male do we have? 9 unit minus 8 unit will be 1 unit. Female will also be 1 unit. There were 104 locus. So locus is this. Which is 104. Okay, now let's look at our equation. 9 unit or 9 male, sorry, plus 5 female. 5 unit of female is 121. 8 unit of male plus 4 unit of female is 104 here. This whole thing is 104. So now, let's make... I need to find male. So let's make the female the same. So 5, five unit here, 4 unit here, I times 4. My second equation times 5. 
So 9 times 4 is 36. 5 times 4 is 20. 121 times 4 is 484. Second equation, let me use another color. 8 times 5 is 40. This is male. 4 times 5 is 20 female. 104 times 5, 520. Now let's minus off. 20 minus 20 is 0. 40 male minus 36 male is 520 minus 484. So 4 male will be 580 minus 480. 484 will be 520 minus 484 and I will get 36 one male will be nine. How many male foreigners were there in the course? There is one male foreigner, so answer is nine. Worksheet five. Ethan, Fundy, and George had some stickers. Fundy had twenty percent more stickers than Ethan. So here I know that Ethan more than Ethan. Ethan is hundred percent. Fundy will be twenty percent more than hundred. 20% more than 100% will be 120%. So Fundy is 120%. So now I what I can do is I can show using ratio method. George had 10% less than Ethan. So Ethan 100%. So Ethan has no change. George is 10% less than Ethan. So George will be 90%. So now how many percent less stickers did George have than Fundy? So George is 90%. Fundy is 120%. So 120% minus 90%. And question 2. At a sale, the price of a bag decreased by 25% to hundred and fifty dollars so now the price decrease what we can do is we can draw the arrow to show a decrease okay this is my original original price which is hundred percent it decreased by twenty five percent so you minus twenty five percent hundred minus twenty five is seventy five percent two 150 so my 2 is here is 150 what was the original price so I want to find 100% so I'm given 75% is 150 1% 150 divided by 75 which is 2 I want to find 100% 2 times 100 so original price is $200 question 3 Nina used a ribbon of length 2 meter to tie the box. So this is a present, this is a box. It went round the box as shown, leaving 60 cm to tie a bow. So I know this bow here is 60 cm. How high was the box? So I want to find this. Okay, so let's look at the diagram. The diagram, we know that the length here is 20 cm. So let's look. I have a 20 here. The bottom will also need 20, right? So my length will be 20 cm plus 20 cm. So I need this on top and the bottom. How about my breath? My breath is this side and this side and the bottom, right? So my breath 
is 18 cm plus 18 cm which is 36 cm so I want to find how high is the box so first I take 2 meter which is 200 cm because I must make all my units the same so 200 minus my bow 60 minus my length 40 minus my breadth 36 and I will get 64 cm right I want to find how high was the box so 64 cm is for the height but I have one side two side three side and four side so I take 64 divide by 4 my height will be 16 cm worksheet 6 Alice has some money in her savings account her mother gave her $48 and her savings increased by 30% so I know the savings increase by 30% so increase is 30% original 100% increase to 130% her mother gave her another $48 so what is your another 48 so this one is your another give her this amount then it increase to by 30% so your 30% is your $48 dollars. 1% 48 divided by 30 how much had she in the end so this is the end when the arrow shows up that is the end so it's 130% will be 48 divided by 30 times 130 so 16 times 130 16 times sorry 13 and it would be 208 dollars question 2 Andy bought a storybook and a dictionary the storybook cost 25 dollars and the dictionary cost 80 dollars more than the storybook okay so now my storybook is 100%. I'm given storybook is $25. So 100% $25. 1% 25 divided by 100. I want to find dictionary. Dictionary is 80% more than 100%. So dictionary is 180%. So I'm 580%. divide by 5 is 2 divide by 5 5 9 answer is 45 dollars this is the dictionary how much did she pay in all that means the book and the dictionary so I take 25 plus 45 answer is 70 dollars question 3 a school has an enrollment of 1,200 pupils when 48 girls and 27 of the boys were absent. The number of girls present is equal to the number of boys present. So to help us see this, we know that the girls present is equal to the boys present. The boys present is 5, 2, 7 absent, so 5, 7. This one must be equal to this. Okay? So to help us, we will draw our model. So first, I have boys. I know my boys is 7 unit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 unit. 2 unit were absent. 5 unit were present. Okay, then the girls, when 48 girls were absent, so I have 48 here, the number of girls, this one, is equal to this. 
So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is also 5 units. Okay, total of boys and girls is 1,200. So first, I need to subtract away 48. So 1, 2, 0, 0, minus 48. I will get 1, 1, 5, 2. 1, 1, 5, 2. Let's see, count how many units are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 5. will be 12 units. So 12 units is 1152. One unit will be 1152. Divide by 12. I have 96. How many girls were there in the school? So I need to find how many girls. Okay. So five, one unit is 96. So 5 units will be 96 times 5, which is 480. So number of girls will be 480 plus 48, 528. Question 7. David went shopping with a sum of money. He spent two-fifths of it on the bag and one-third of the remainder on the book. So what is your whole of it? means the money. So your money is your whole. He spent two-fifths of it on the back. So on the back, two-fifths. One-third of the remainder. Not of the money, but of the remainder. So I would have a remainder. I have two-fifths here. Times my whole, which is one. I will get two-fifths. One whole minus two fifth is three fifth. One third of the remainder on the book. So the book is one third of the remainder three fifth. My left, I spend one third on the book. My left will be two third times three fifth. Here I can cancel to be one fifth, two fifth. Okay, here it says that he had the $28 left. So I put $28 as left. My two unit will be my $28. How much did the back cost? So the back cost two fifth, two fifth. Right? It is the same. So the back cost $28. Ratio of the number of men to the number of women in a concert hall is two is to one. So I have men to women, 2 is to 1. The ratio of the number of women to the number of children is 3 is to 5. So women to children, 3 is to 5. What must I make? I must make the women the same, right? So I times 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3, this is 3, the same, and 5. There are 30 children, so 5 unit is your 30 children. One unit, six. How many men are there? There's six unit. So the answer is thirty-six. Question three. If one quarter of a number is y, let's draw. One, two, three, four. One quarter is y. One unit is y. What is five times the number? So if one unit is y, four unit will be one, two, three, four. 4 times y, 4y. 5 times the number. So 4y times 5. Answer is 20y. Worksheet 8. One quarter of the length of stick A is half the length of stick B. So I can draw a model to help me see. 1 quarter. 4 units. This is strip stick A. One quarter is half the length of stick B. This one is half only. So it's one, which is the same, and another one. So B is only two units. 
if stick A is 20 cm longer than stick B. So now, this is longer, it's 20 cm. Find the total length of the two sticks. So 2 unit is 20. I want to find the total length. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 unit will be 20 divided by 2 times 6. Answer is 60 cm. The price of a blouse is decreased by 20% to $60. So I know at first it's 100%, decreased by 20%. So at the end will be 80%. Two, $60. So where's my $60? Two, two. So this is $60. Original price, I want to find 100%. So 80%. $60, 1%, 60 divided by 80, and I want to find 100%. Divide by 25, I get 4, uh, sorry, 4, I get 25, divide by 4, I get 2, so it's 3 times 25, answer is $75. Mrs. Nadan is 4 times as old as her son. So I'm going to draw Nadan and son. It will look like that. In 18 years time, she will be twice. So if I plus 18, I plus 18, plus the same, Okay, Mrs. Nadan will be twice. So this one will be two times this. Okay, so here we know that my Mrs. Nadan, my difference must be the same. Sun. Initially is 4 is to 1. I plus 18 years becomes 2 is to 1. Here my difference 4 minus 1 is 3 unit 2 minus 1 is 1 unit and I times 3 to make the difference the same. Now my new ratio will be 4 is to 1 2 times 3 will be 6. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 plus 2 unit will be 3 unit. 4 plus 2 unit will be 6 unit, right? So my 2 unit is 18 years old. 18 years, sorry, not years old. 1 unit will be 9 years. How old is Mrs. Nadan now? So now we want to look at the 4 unit. Now, this is now, this is 18 years later. So 9 times 4, 36 years. Children will stop here for now. For worksheet 9, because there are some mistakes here, I will amend it and we will do it tomorrow. Goodbye.